I'm creating this video because I figured out how to get Red 5 shutdown to work. So first I will run it, and you can see I get this error. C documents is not recognized. I get the same error when I run Red 5 debug.bat. C documents is not recognized. Now the reason for this error is because I have spaces in my path. C document space and space settings. And as you can see here, C documents is being cut off at the first space. So in order to fix that, I need to put quotes around my paths inside the bat files. So I need to edit each bat file to add the quotes. So first I will open red5 shutdown. And this path here is the path I need to add the quotes around. At first I thought that the problem was that I needed to add red5 underscore home to my environment variables. But then I realized that it's being set to cd, which is the current directory. My current directory is this, c documents and settings with spaces in it. So then I realized that was the problem. Also, notice that I've put a pause at the end of this file. That is so that I can see the output of the shutdown and make sure it works. So now I'll save that file and close it. And now I will open red5debug.bat. And here I will add the quotes around this path here. Save that. Now I will run red5debug.bat, and that will start the red5 service. Now you can see it's working this time. It says installer service created, so I know that it works. Then I can double click on red5shutdown.bat to stop the red5 service. And as you can see, that's working. So all we needed to do was to open both of these bat files in Notepad and add quotes to the paths.